Hey guys, Patton here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to dual boot on the SNES Classic so you can use one console for the SNES Classic and an NES Classic. If you if you weren't able to get one of those back in the day, um, you can basically turn your SNES Classic into an NES Classic if you want, or you can dual boot and use both of them at the same time. So I will show you how to do that. It's very easy. I recommend you download the Hakshi CE version. I will have that in my description for you to download. Um, that's really all you're gonna need for this. So once you have that downloaded, first thing you're gonna wanna do is go to kernel. Click dump kernel. Now I've already done this, so I can't follow the steps with you, but make sure you dump your kernel, save it somewhere, put it on the cloud, put five copies on your hard drive, whatever you do, make sure you keep that original. In case something goes wrong, you can flash to that. Uh, so there's really no worries about breaking your system. Make sure you have that dump kernel. Next thing you need to do is flash the custom kernel. So you go to this option right here under kernel and I'll ask you, do you want to flash custom kernel? You would click yes. Um, it might ask you to hold on the reset button as you push the power button on your SNES Classic. Once you do that, you'll see a green bar. It'll start filling in and once it fills in all the way, it means that the custom kernel is flashed and your SNES Classic is hacked. So today, since we're doing dual booting, and this is really easy to do, um, the most difficult part is finding the files to get this to work. You have to find what's called an HSQS file. And I'm not really sure what that file is. It's, it's kind of like the, the brain of the system, something like that. And all you're doing is putting that on the SNES Classic, picking it up as a game, and now you suddenly have an NES Classic. So uh, before you go looking for anything, make sure you do this option so you can get back to your console being an SNES Classic. You have to go to Kernel, Advanced, Dump Decrypted NAND B Partition. If you don't do this, and you switch your console to an NES Classic, you have to find this file. You need this file to come back to your SNES Classic, which was a mistake I made because the tutorial I followed doesn't mention this till you're already done, like halfway through. So I was like, well, now I have two NES Classics, but that's not the case. I was able to find a SNES Classic file. Anyway, make sure you select this dump, select your dump area and then you dump. You see HSQS, you can rename this to SNES, you can name this however you want, but make sure it is like SNES, something like that. So once you have that dumped, then you can continue. Once you have your NES HSQS file, you're gonna go into your Hacksheet, add more games. You're gonna go into the folder where you downloaded it to. You may have to change this option down here to all files so you can see everything. This is the one I'm using right here, this DP NES release version something. I'm gonna click open. So you're adding it just like a game. We're going to rename it to NES Classic. That's just something I want to do. That's my option. Uh, we're going to click Google so we have some box art for it. And of course, we're going to get the box art for the NES games right here. That's exactly what I was looking for. Um, then the last thing to do is just hit this synchronized game as your SNES is plugged into your computer. Let me turn that on real quick. So now, yeah, these games are all, I think I just have the original 21 games and plus this NES classic file being synchronized to my system. So it is all done. Um, let me show you what this looks like on the system and what it's going to do. Okay, so here's our SNES classic. Well, here's the app for the NES classic, but I just want to show you, show you all this stuff. These are just regular games uh, besides the NES classic. So when I open this up, uh, my recording is going to stop because it's actually going to shut down the SNES Classic to put this on here. Um, so you'll see a little jump in the video, but I, I, I promise I'm not doing any tricks or anything like that. Um, but my recording software just doesn't record if it doesn't detect anything. So let's hit this and I'll show you what comes up. Here, here where we go, go. All right. There we are, we have an NES Classic now with all the games. And this is this is on my SNES Classic. I'm not, you know, like I said, I'm not joking. Like I said, it's hard for me to tell without recording the actual computer screen for you, but I mean, that that's, that's not how I do things. That'll look weird. So here's some Kirby. Man, this brings me back. I have not played my NES Classic in a very long time. And it was funny because, um, 
Uh, your controller hacks are the same, except because you know you're using an SNES controller now. Uh, the L and R buttons don't do anything, so just down and select will bring you back to the menu, or it should bring you back to the menu. Yeah, there we go. Um, so now here's the thing: I forgot to do this first, and this. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to I'm going to go back to the computer um, and keep the SNES Classic plugged in the way it is with the NES Class booted, and I want to show you something interesting okay so take a look here now it recognizes my snes classic as a nintendo classic as you can see we have the original games for the nes classic on here um, all your settings stay the same all the h mods that you install w are also installed on the nes classic so you don't have to go back and redo all that stuff they they would still be installed but here's where i messed up i didn't have this right here so let's get rid of that so when I tried to go back to my SNES Classic, there's no real way to do that. So that's why it's important to back up that NAND B thing that I showed you the first time. So just to get back, all you have to do is go to add more games, go back to the dump that you did. Again, we have to change this. And we're gonna go to our SNES one and add that as a game. So you're basically doing the same thing. You're just adding this, this you know, SNES brain as a game um, and then when you open it up in the classic it takes you back to the SNES classic it might sound a little confusing I'm sorry but that is how you revert back and like I said my tutorial didn't tell me that so I was stuck as an NES classic until I could find you know another for lack of a better word a Super Nintendo brain to revert it to so we're just doing the same thing we did with the um, NES Classic Brain thing. Is we renamed it, we got some box art, and then you would just synchronize this to the system one more time. So um, when I switched to the NES Classic, you saw this was already on there. I forgot to take it off the system, but um, make sure you do this step. So when you get back here, you take that NAND B that you dumped, add it as a game, or it's the HSQS file, you add that as a game, now you can go back to your SNES Classic. So that is synced. We're going to go back to our system and we'll we'll go back and forth between the two to show you that everything works fine. All right, so yes, we are back and we have our SNES Classic app here. I'm going to hit this. We're going to have to jump again back to the, you know, the Super Nintendo when, when it pops up. But this is how you get back. Make sure this is installed or you're going to have some problems like I did. So here we go. And we're back. So yeah, that's all you have to do. Just add those HSQS files and you can turn your Super Nintendo Classic into a Nintendo Classic, no problem, and vice versa. So um, in my description, like I said, I'll have a download link to hack Chi for you. And yeah, I hope this video wasn't too confusing. All you're doing is adding those files to switch between your systems. Super easy. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I hope it was helpful and uh, thank you all for watching. I will see you next time. Hey guys, if you want to contact me outside of YouTube, feel free to use any of these social media platforms. Also, while you're here, why don't you check out some of the other videos that I put out? And if you feel like it, subscribe to the channel.